You love me. Part two. Now you try wondering why I have this skin. Oh, what? Because I'm absent from you. The story that legend has it. That whoever reads the story out loud, it will haunt them, or the person who reads it will be killed, or mysteriously die. That story. Well, let me tell you that story. It's called Cowhead. The story that comes. In the Ukrainian ghost story. But here's the thing, it's not a ghost story. It's actually true. But there's Oksana lived in a small house on the edge of her town, a town with her father, her stepmother, and her stepsister. Oksana's mother, stepmother, if you will, disliked her, Oksana, Oksana. Favoring her true daughter, Elena. Elena. Down there, Ukraine, they. Yeah. Mm. Soon after her father's remarriage, Oksana. Found out all oh, the housework fell into her while Elena had down her days away. Sonia's father was a timid man and could not bring himself to defy his wife. So Sonia, who Elena's cast off clothes wore Elena's cast off clothes and her hands grew red and chapped it from scrubbing it in the cold. Well, Elena attended the parties grown lazy and spoiled. One year, when the winter snow, snows were practically fierce, Oksana's family ran out of money. We all know how hard those kind of times are. But anyways, Oksana's stepmother began nagging. Her father to send Oksana away because they could not afford to keep two girls. Reluctantly, Oksana's father agreed. He took Oksana to a cottage deep in the woods and left her there. Oksana's, Oksana was very frightened. The words were said to be filled with demons and monsters, but Oksana was so practical. She entered the cottage with her small bundle and found a fireplace. A lopsided table and a rusted old pot. Oksana put away the loaf of bread 
And I am a slab of cheese her father had given her. She folded the blanket and laid it near the fireplace. Then she collected wood and brought to the fire. Oksana knew the bread and cheese would not last her all winter, so she made a snare using the thin, flexible branches and the trees and caught the snare ready to eat. She also dug under the deep snow and found some roots and berries for food. By dark, I saw I had no tea water for drinking and used the rest to make a stew. Now, if you ask me, survival in the woods, I can smell the alcohol in this. Control my candles and then next. Here's my Tony story. But Survival in the woods on our own is hard. In cat. Just give me a second. Okay. So Oksana ate well. Then she lay down in the fire for the night, listening to the wind howl and pretending to herself that she was not frightened of the words. It was midnight when the knocks came. Knock, knock, knock. It echoed Howardly. Hollow during the dark, dark cottage. Oksana woke with a start. Her heart pounding in fear. It came again. Knock, knock, knock. Oksana thought of the monsters she hid under the blanket, praying the thing would get away. Knock, knock, knock. Oksana rose, grabbing a branch. She crept towards the door. The wind held early down the chimney. Oksana swallowed and swung the door open. There was nothing there. Tip caught. Came in the wind, knocking something against the the door. Her heart pounded fiercely as she started out, staring out at the snow, whipping about in the light of her small fire. And then she looked down on someone went out of shriek of terror and leaped back, dropping her stick. It was a demon, an evil spirit. It had no body. Who are you? Oksana stuttered, clutching the door with shaking hands. I am Cow's head, he replied. Indeed, Oksana saw at once that it was. The head was drowned with curved horns and strange haunting eyes. 
comic paper club Mary game and the candy man game. It's gonna be at like 10, 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Um, and then at like, and then sometime later, I'm gonna do the Midnight Man. Game. So, my candle is flipping the fuck out. And I'm on that shit. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching and good luck.